Classier. This one's not classy. I don't, I don't know about classy. I don't yeah. think classy is the I right way to describe that one. I think that's what Fox says. That's more of just like you're you're twisting their arms. And just... Hey, I'm aiming for that. Uh, <laughs> for hentai. Turning it out there. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, hi, again. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Six Feet Under. Uh, Six Feet Under, like always, is brought to you by our beautiful sponsors. Old Cheap Dub, located at 3900 Rosa Avenue, El Paso, Texas, 79905. And today, we might be changing beers, but we're drinking, starting with a Pop Cherry. An old one, but good one. A Pop Cherry is, shoot, uh, Red L Cherry uh, Tart. Sorry, Cherry Tart with a 4.7 ABV. It's delicious. Out, uh, delicious. And a lot of the sponsor, like always. Vitolas, located at 216 West Franklin, El Paso, Texas, 79901. So you know, guys, you want a cigar, you want some beautiful tasting whiskey with it, go to <laughs> Vitolas. And remember, 360 cigar selections. So don't say you don't have anything there. Don't say you don't have anything there. And then also just to remind you guys, if you guys are watching this on YouTube or listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, you can find links to all of our streaming platforms at our website, sixfeetunderstudios.com. Well, you'll find links to everything, including our YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, as well as our Instagram. And we'll do little features on there for anybody who comes up on our show. We'll have a local spotlight feature and all of our little projects. Um, so thank you guys again for tuning in. Today, Alex, what do we got today, man? We have a good friend, Carlos. Yeah, you're doing a savor yeah. tooth. Yes, savor oh, tooth, because you're going to savor what you eat. Oh, shit. No down. Yeah. Uh, don't look down. Uh, good thing there's a table. <laughs> but that just got me too excited. <laughs> that puts some lead on the pencil. I mean, overcook the soft pretzel. <laughs> Damn, I'm making it work. <laughs> Over, overcook the soft <laughs> pretzel. <laughs> yeah, you know, what? <laughs> Have you ever cooked a soft pretzel? Can I say, oh, yeah, overcook the I can soft pretzel. Overcook the soft pretzel. <laughs> yeah. It gets hard. <laughs> yeah, it is. Really? I thought, I thought it would get limp. I don't know how cooking process works. Maybe. I just thought it burned it. It's <laughs> so when you leave the pretzel out there for a while. Shit. Of course, you can always count on Alex for giving us some interesting analogies. Hey, that yeah. one was the best hey, one. It though. depends also on the shade of color you want. That's true. <laughs> yeah, but still, last time was one of the best ones. Brian, I agree with me. The eating ass. I didn't say I didn't agree with you. I just was not expecting to hear that at all. That came out of left field. Everything. So he eats ass or what? Is that, that's all I heard. Like, no, that's the, that's the subject I'm hearing right now. I don't. I don't remember exactly. We were, what we were talking, talking about, about like how like you really had to eat ass to like make it. Like you have. Oh, to, like, you gotta go through shit. the shit before oh, you get okay. to the good. Yeah, the good so you stuff. gotta eat shit if you eat ass. Like kiss that's some bottles. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah, I don't know where the guy just said you gotta eat some ass. You're like, wait, what? And then he's like, you know what? Actually, yeah. I don't, you're like, I don't think we're talking about the same thing, but okay. Yeah. It's also that's you yeah. of eating ass. Your analogy is kind of off. Just, just that's by a, a little couple bit. of marks. Just because it's a season of eating ass. Keywords, huge. I was like, hey man, it pops up in the Google search. I imagine, but still. <laughs> hey man, the first thing that you come out eating ass is like six feet under. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Honestly, if that were to happen, we'd gain so many people, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Anyway. Um, no, yeah. Uh, today, we got Carlos here from Sabretooth. Uh, thanks, Carlos, for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you for having uh, me, guys. He brought us some goodies today as well. Not these yes. goodies. <laughs> some other goodies over here. Uh, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about that, Carlos? You know, uh, well, right what you got now, going on? With Sabretooth, by, I'm pro- providing snacks, pretty much. Um, I do go to certain events just to become like a snack vendor because like either with the food trucks, it's either too much food or you just want something to munch at, munch on, especially as, especially cause I go where they have breweries or a bar and these go great with them. And we have the jerky as well as the fruit chewies. So right now the flavors that I brought to you guys today is our, my new flavor, jalapeno lime. 
as well as uh, my most popular one, Caveman. We also got Teriyaki. And then I got my mango and pineapple, normal and spicy. Oh, shit. That one sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Mango and pineapple. Free. Yeah. Well, we live in El Paso, and like border city right here. If you There's just you, you you have, have to go with <laughs> pineapple. You have pineapple with a little mm-hmm. bit of spice on there? Yeah, you're, you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> like, you so you know, man. Yeah, I bought a bag once and went away. <laughs> 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 so do you kind of just focus on jerky and like chewable fruit or like you try and do other well, things or how right, did you get to that well this is just more of it's uh easy accessible and it's probably and also um it's legal wow that's like the best answer it's legal Legal. so uh, well yeah it's true true (laughs) that's why because um right now making everything from home uh because of covid uh my savings fund for what i wanted to open was a food truck okay and have these as just hey you know what like i have paying friends like you know what i'm not like they're walking down toward the bar because i wanted to kind of open close to later later as well Uh, before they close down and um and just kind of drive around there while in downtown area everyone's walking from different bars to bars so you go from um uh, later later blackbird and then they'll go to international um gray dog the gay bars and then they'll go to church bar and then right now they go to tap mona they yeah, yeah. do all yeah. of them so like carry around, like definitely know someone's like hey, you know what, man i just want to snack something as i'm going on the here. way yeah. on the way there or if they happen to go to Dead Beach Brewery or any other bar, they can have it with mostly for the guys with the jerkies. Like it'll go great. Like with if they order some in minchiladas or Bloody Marys. So that's what I was gonna. I was my target right now. Yeah. But once I do pick up steam even more, I do want to do catering. I do do right now personal uh, orders for smoked ribs, brisket, as well as like beef and pork, as well as the ribs, beef and pork, your choice. Why didn't you tell me this? We <laughs> could have had a big brisket. Damn. <laughs> but that's just, oh, fuck that. Yeah. That's, that's cool. Also, Texas, come on. Yeah. yeah. Why are yes. you not going to do barbecue? Yeah. So, like, Straight up. Yeah, for that, like, I have my own um, rub. And then with that rub, I go based off like, oh, hey, dude, you want a barbecue sauce on top? And I can make multiple different barbecue sauce. I had been cooking in the culinary industry. Some people call me, oh, you're such a chef. I'm like, uh, not yet. I haven't, <laughs> I, I haven't made my own menu, so I don't qualify myself as a chef. Is that chef. what qualifies you as a well, chef to make your own menu? That's what I qualify myself. If, okay. like, that's your like, standard. That's my standard gotcha. because I'm like, you can be a cook. You can yeah. be a really good line cook. You yeah. can be a sushi. Like, well, if you're a sous chef, you're a sous chef, but. I'm like, for just to straight up, like, call you like, hey, that guy's a chef. I'm like, oh, yeah, dude, I made my own menu. Like, that's for sure, because that's your own ingredients. That's your own recipes. Yeah, you can borrow, but you modify. You you modify. (laughs) Once you modify any recipe that you cannot find anywhere else, it's your own. And if you happen to have it on a menu, I think you're considered a chef. Okay. So yeah, like, mine was just like years of experience and like having people scream at you. That's yeah. Because I haven't even cooked, but I never like I never said like oh, shit. But I had people scream. I was like, well, I haven't mm. been there too long <laughs> to yeah. be like okay. I'm like I'm a chef of my own house. <laughs> uh, putting <laughs> hot pockets in the microwave, dude. It's not. Hey a Hey man, it's harder than it looks. <laughs> bagel bites don't count on. Bro. The <laughs> I burned the bagel bites. Can you tell how, many time, how many times that I'll be lights on fire? <laughs> Uh, no, it's actually that's bad. I was like, that's your different because it's yeah, it, it's like, it's more everybody like, has different one, but that one, yeah, I think like, that one's like more valid. <laughs> yeah, like, and that's the thing. Like, I don't turn down anyone with skills. Someone yeah. can probably have better knife skills than me in either cutlery, uh, fabricating chicken, beef, fish, just cubing, dicing, mincing, julienning vegetables. I'm like, dude. If some areas, I'm like my dice, my dicing, my chopping is good. Yeah. But cubing, if you can get that perfect like quarter inch cut every oh. time with <laughs> potatoes, carrots, and all that, I'm like, dude, you're fucking skilled. I'll, you're a skilled cook. I'll give you that. Damn. I, I 
I never get to cube. I just did slicing, but not cubing. Like, fuck that. Yeah. Uh, I had to prep, but never, they never put me to cube. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it's one of those things like for uh, mostly soups. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like one, one of my, uh, one of my chefs, he says like, if you can't, if you can't have everything in one single spoon, it's too big. Depends on the size of the spoon, though. Well, <laughs> yeah, what I mean, I like, say, what if, what if, you know what, what? You're not wrong. What if I bring a big spoon? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? A whole chicken would work too. If you go with that example. I'm like, so you're telling me this is gonna count as one portion size, right? Dude, we're gonna throw yeah. a spoon fight. Like, <laughs> which, like, I, was, I had like this is stupid because I had to stop it, but. I had a fight with a friend about <laughs> what kind of spoon you use because you know there's like the teaspoon and yeah the, teaspoon the, I use spoon. most more the teaspoon than anything also because I'm lazy to grab it <laughs> <laughs> but it's always on my dish washer like, cool <laughs> cool I'll take it <laughs> like all cereal with that like, like, I have spoon. one spoon that's it <laughs> what if you all reliable all reliable. <laughs> reliable I have a spork <laughs> a metal spork. they sell metal sporks dude <laughs> I know I've seen them. I'm like, I got excited. Yeah, it, dude, and, I, and I bet believe just like what they do with the metal straws, it has its own carrying case. You can have it on your keychain. Oh, you walk. You mean Who needs keychain? a spoon? Just, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I need to stab something too. I got the spork. Hey, the Swiss knife has it all. <laughs> I had one of those because of hunting. Oh, man. Yeah, one of those huge ass Swiss knives with a spoon and a fork. <laughs> with the fork, not the spoon. They didn't have the spoon in it. But. <laughs> My dad gave it to me. I don't know where it is anymore. It's probably less in the attic. <laughs> but it's fucking huge. Now they have USBs on it. Stupid. Wait. What do you mean? How what? is that stupid? Switch knife. So they far. come on. What if all of a sudden you kill a deer and you want to save this moment for the rest of your life? <laughs> Let me put my camera. camera. <laughs> plug it in. your phone, bro. <laughs> Where are you going to plug the fucking USB in the Hey, phone man. Arm? I didn't make it. I'm just trying to help you realize what it's for. Switch knife. They have everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, back to like this. Why? What? what the hell? <laughs> I don't know. I just started like, fuck We were on a good track there. <laughs> now it's time we just take a turn. Hey, took me another 10 minutes to make a different inappropriate comment. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, oh my god. I'm surprised, like. You don't have one of those buzzers like uh, like that's easy like just like him going like you know what that's what he says this time <laughs> nah, yeah dude, if that was the case then we wouldn't get through anything on here everything no, would be bleak. It's, not, it's not even anything it's just more of like all right here we go like for <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the next thing on the list uh, it's it's on the list if you can send us money to we'll get, we'll get the board paper. and we're gonna get the <laughs> 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 fucking like a tall one yeah. <laughs> So, you know, I just start uh, telling everybody, hey, guys, um, just to let you know, you got my uh, Patreon, uh, Patreon, Patreon. Pa- uh, Patreon page right here. If you can just support us, we'll get most of the stupidest shit on this show, <laughs> you know. Oh, no, I had the one chip challenge. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. There you oh, go. Let's do it right now. Oh, through nah, we'll do it later. Later. <laughs> But I have it. I've done it. This is the 20, this is, I think this is a 2019 one. Oh, this is a 2020 edition. Oh, they change it every year. Every year, yeah, every year, because um, I done the 2018 and 2017. Because so far, they every year there's a new modified pepper, pepper that yeah. goes in a higher Scoven pepper X. Yeah. So far, is the I think so. I think it reaches six, have the, 16 mil. Yeah, I have the sauces over there because I have all the last apps, all of them. Oh damn! Yeah, I have problems. Yeah. I have the game too, but yeah, I also have, like the yeah. hot ones. I watch this yeah. shit and I'm like. Damn. I guess I actually pre-ordered the uh, Apollo. That's Ooh. That. It's literally just one chip. Yeah. <laughs> dude, it's <laughs> fucking 30 That's bucks. All you, no, That's I know. all you need. That my, one chip. My brother-in-law bought like 10 of these for some reason. And him and my niece were... Also, 400 know? bucks? Always. Fucking baller? Huh? It's four, like almost 400 bucks there. I don't know why he bought so many. I don't know. But he went he went ham on the one chip challenge. Sorry. Going back to the spoon, <laughs> this is just one somewhere else. <laughs> well, or my, like, my size is a regular like tablespoon and a half, which is a regular soup spoon. So if I even go with a regular soup spoon, cubing is like if you can have everything in a regular, like, let's just go with the clam chowder, how you have carrots, celery, onion, as well as potatoes. And clam. And clam, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so like you want everything to be on that spoon in one single bite. And that's what I did. Like I worked at a restaurant in Chicago. I think it was called, if I remember, Steak Forty Eight. Oh shit! Yeah, it's one of the 
like top tier restaurants that they have up there. Yeah. And we, we hence the name steak, but we deal with so many soups as well, like to day like soup of the day and everything. Like, and if everybody has to have a soup of the day. Like, yeah. Like, come on. There's nothing like a fucking good soup. <laughs> it, no, you know, <laughs> dude, I I've made so many soups out of random shit out of my fridge. Was it um a couple of my friends they went to the food pantry or like um the food bank. Yeah. And they just got boxes. I mean boxes of just like uh restaurant grade like steak fries. And I'm just like Damn, that sounds yeah. amazing. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. no, it's your problem. And like, and I'm like, they're like, dude, I don't know what to do with it. They gave me like each bag's five pounds, like five. Oh, so like it's a box of like twenty five to thirty pounds of French fries. Damn, man. And they're just like, like it's like, dude, we don't know what to do. I'm like, dude, make a soup out of it. It's like, what? Yeah, make a potato soup out of it. It's like, dude, they're French fries. So, no, nah, yeah, hold they're up. They're potatoes. <laughs> like, they're potatoes. First of all, I'm like, all you have to do is just boil them. If you boil potatoes, no matter what form they are, you can smash them, add a little bit of cream, salt. There you go. Yeah. Made potato soup. Onion Keep- soup. Just fucking onion. <laughs> but it's because like people think too much. Like, how is that hard? It's like it's onion soup, dude. It's, it's onion. What else does it have? Look, man. Uh, we see food. We don't know how it gets to soup. We just see food. solid and then soup. I don't know what goes on in the middle. Okay? <laughs> There's like the halfway like cream no, or no, no soup. I'm like potato soup. soup. Cool. He he has that whole entire hangover like ideology where you're like, you know what? Beer blackout. Naked in bed with a chick. I don't know what's transition in the middle. <laughs> but you wake up and there's a plate of soup next to it. Halfway in because like you got too fucked well, up. Why. You're like, but I had my soup. I do remember that. So you're going to say like fucking cereal is soup? Why would I say cereal uh, is soup? I, actually, people fight about that. They do. And, and it's, you know, I'm one of them like, you know what? It is. It has a logic. It has it? a logic. That, you know, wait, 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 what's the logic behind cereal being soup? Okay, uh, well, what qualifies <laughs> what, what qualifies a soup? A uh, liquid, <laughs> water <laughs> soup. Then? Liquid. That Technically, you can eat? yeah. What? <laughs> you need water to make soup. soup. Yeah, but I'm saying water on its own. If you put it in a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, no. Sorry, if you go with that no. logic, I mean, that's, that's, no. No, 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 no. Doesn't that put rice on the bowl? So. No, no. But that doesn't no. like, qualify as a soup because it has no liquid. True. Well, it rice does. Bowl. <laughs> rice bowl. Y'all, y'all yeah. smoking something? Man. Get out of here. <laughs> we're, getting, we're starting fights. Water the soup. <laughs> Uh, dude, we're not well, even finished the with day, the first the day. <laughs> someone comes to like, "Hey, I'm hungry. Make me something." Okay, <laughs> there you go. What is it? Soup. soup. Is it water, water in a bowl? That's soup. soup. Beer in a bowl. <laughs> soup. <laughs> is it nutritious? Probably not. Will it hydrate you? Yes, it will. You thirsty ass. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so what qualifies as <laughs> soup? Well, in my definition, is either it actually has to have some nutrients into it. Like, like if you go with the French onion soup, easily it's beef stock with onions. Okay, that's what it is. The way, and also beef stock is made with, of course, beef, beef bones, and then you throw with a mirepoix, which is just mostly a, which is white onion, celery, and carrots. Okay, so if you just that's just considered soup because you got your liquid. And then you got your substance. Like, it's gonna put it on the- sopa de pideo and and everything else. Like, sopa de res. So, like, there's always a substance inside the liquid. If you go with like, oh, but what about clam chowder? It's too thick. Well, it's technically cream. a li- it's a cream like, because it's you... It's thick soup, mother. It's thick soup, <laughs> yeah, pretty much, because you use cream and milk. I'm like, yeah, it thickens up a little bit, but... I'm like, I'm... I, well... I'm not gonna. I have one friend that I can think of. Like, I only could qualify their poutine as a soup. Oh, <laughs> oh, how they make poutine into a soup? Uh, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Is they order so much cheese on it? Oh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, dude, like you just you're pretty much adding like. More like they he and he originally just like hey every once in a while he acts like hey can I get more fries? I'm like and 
he just gets it for the cheese. I'm like, dude, just it's too much cheese. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I love cheese, but I'm like, that's just too much. And I saw at that point it was just a grilled cheese with fries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just cheese fries, yeah, cheese cheese fries. <laughs> that's all damn just oh well it's also that people like when you go to olive garden like you know how they fucking do their salad yeah. with, and like keep going like dude he finished the block of cheese on your salad like what are you still gonna I, it's like, I know it's complimentary but damn this i'm pretty block- sure people do it just to have the power because they ask you let me know when, when? all right i will let you know when <laughs> can you put that in my soda <laughs> he's like sir we're out of cheese i didn't say when though my arm's hurting <laughs> oh shit, shit. Uh, shit, do the stranger fucker <laughs> shit <laughs> i can't sir. Starcraft. Well, the strangers when your arm falls asleep, though. <laughs> again, <laughs> shit, again, we're on one path. You went <laughs> down a whole other direction. Hey, to show up on nothing. Been a long day. Kind of has, so been doing a lot today. Oh, jeez. So then, I guess you obviously know a lot. I mean, well, obviously, you're a food. Yeah. enthusiast up yeah, i guess you're not much. technically a chef yet yeah not in my quality standards. my own quality but you're a major obviously a food enthusiast yeah. and you know a lot about it what you went to school for this right yeah you went <laughs> yeah. to school yeah. like did you yeah, go to school like, yeah i did um i originally was gonna start in, when i was living in chicago for a while i happened to meet one Shit. of my uh a master chef in the cicero airport and i was working under him and he's like at the time i just barely moved up there and i was <laughs> Pretty much homeless broke. I was okay. living like I was living in like uh one of my uncle's houses at the time and he, I was just talking to him like, Hey, like what school do you go to? like what school would you recommend? Because I at they were in Chicago they had um Cordon Blue. That well Cordon Blue was one of them. They had Saint Julian as well as um the Ironclad, which is the military like culinary school, which you don't need to be in military to join it, but it's pretty pricey as well as I'm trying to remember the exact name. Um, Kendall? Uh, not Kendall, not the book. <laughs> <laughs> Starts with a K. And that one, pretty much for three years, was $115,000. Board included everything. I The facilities were like state of the art. Like, god damn. Like there was That's no uncharted yeah, knife. Cool. There. Yeah, like <laughs> you, you, you get, you, like, if you leave, there with a degree from there you are pretty much almost not like guaranteed but they know that you know your shit because i sat down in one of the classes and one of the classes was pretty much they're talking about rice and the different types of rice long rice aztec rice um, bamboo rice and it just kept on like a full three-hour session of just the different types of rice, the different methods of cooking rice, the different methods you can cook rice after it's boiled and everything, how the different methods to cook rice in small batches all the way up to like huge hotel cruise ship where you just throw in a hotel pan that's six inches deep, fill it up and then just <laughs> chuck it in the oven for the next like hour and then you just take it out and it's good to go. Yeah. Without no guesswork. You just boom, boom. Amount of water, amount of uh, rice, salt, you're good to go. So, like, it was like that kind of education. You, I was like, fuck. But he's like, what he told me was like, yeah, the knowledge is there, the different French cuisine, um, Italian, and everything. But it's like, what most kitchens in anywhere in the United States look for is your basic knowledges of terminology. So as long as you know terminology in the kitchen, you're good. But then also your knife skills. Your knife skills are the most important things, he told me. Like, if you couldn't fabricate a whole chicken within under eight minutes, yeah. Like, he's like, well, and I he told think- me, he's like, the, the fastest he's ever done it where he done a full carcass skin and everything was clean cut was a good five to six minutes and they're not like a fully dead chicken and he just yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's just like well it's already like gutted and everything like but it's separating all the yeah, yeah like the, separating the, the breasts yeah the thighs the, the legs the wings breaking the wings in two pieces like 
taking out the little nugget, which is my, I call it, I, I pretty much call it like the chicken nugget because it's, it's a little piece right in the back. It's, it's called the oyster and it's the perfect size for actual chicken nuggets. Okay. And so I'm like, you know what if somebody actually like just purely got that like they can legit like oh yeah this is pure chicken like because you can actually see the muscle fibers and like it'd be chicken nuggets from mcdonald's or burger king they're just like ground it up chicken pink, pink. yeah they're mm-hmm. like i don't give a fuck what's in there it can be intestines for all like <laughs> for all i know they're so delicious though oh, if you think so <laughs> uh haven't had nuggets in i'm just kidding. i have so lots of that chicken nuggets I like Triple A's. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, sorry, go ahead. But yeah. So yeah, like um, I I studied under him for a couple of months and then um, decided to move back. And I went here for uh, EPCC, went through the whole entire program, and then worked around here in El Paso in a couple of restaurants, just bouncing around here. Right now, I'm like, I've been in a place for four years just because the pay is good. And they work, they give me a solid schedule. Yeah. And every once in a while, I'll just jump around as a second job. I'm like, hey, is anybody just looking for a cook mm-hmm. at like at Friday, Saturday night, maybe Monday or Tuesday morning? And I'm like, they're like, yeah, we'll definitely take you. I'm like, cool. I part timer, but it's just pretty much going in there to learn their methods of cooking, stealing their recipes. <laughs> Making them my own, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. I think that's how it is. Like it's yeah, you have to do it. Like, yeah, like you gotta if, learn something. Like when when you make this your actual like your passion, your own career, you go there to ironically steal their recipes, steal their steal their methods. Yeah, you won't copy. Like if you copy their own recipes to the T, then. I it's got like, beef with you. I'm like, bro, yeah. you're stealing someone else, like uh, another restaurant. Yeah. Because I'm like, I know three, I think four restaurants here in El Paso besides like Chico Taco. Oh, yeah. Like uh, like the Chico's Tacos, the, the Flautas, pretty much. Yeah. Fucking hate those. So um, I like, there's three places that try to mimic it and they kind of make it their own. But like, if the actual cook from Chico Tacos happens to like, leave that yeah. place he can legitly copy and paste it and i'm like and then he's like nah dude like that's not cool in the sense of like you started it there yeah like you started it there and like that's one thing that's the coolest thing that i i, I learned well one thing i heard is that the actual guy who made the soup for the chico tacos is paid actually really well like pretty well off just because He's been doing it for so long. He's got it down to the T. Yeah. And so he's just like, they pay him like so well just to like, kind of like so keep their doesn't like, leave. Yeah, pretty much. It's <laughs> like, like you're on his. To keep the recipe just there. Yeah. So no one else can kinda have like it. Kind of like Coca-Cola and keep it in the vape, like in the vault. Well, right it's kind of like a Tony's barbecue pit, dude. That fucking sauce never leaves there. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> like it's family that work there. Like, <laughs> Tony's daughter is the one that's in charge now. And her grandson, the kid, is the one making the sauce and the chili. Like that's yeah, and that and that's how it goes. I'm like, yeah, like I'll I'll still like kind of like the method to make it. I'm like, oh yeah, like, cause everybody like a simple recipe, like if you actually make homemade um like mac and cheese, it's pretty much just like you make a roux. You get your milk ready. You get your type of cheese. You boil your your macaroni or whatever kind of um, pasta you want to use. And yeah, but the difference is like, all right, how much cheese do you use? What kind of cheese are you using? Are you using heavy cream, half and half, pure milk? Like that's where it varies. So like once you make your own and you write down your own recipe, there it's your own. Yeah, yeah. So that's why like hopefully. Well, especially with cheese because cheese just changes everything just. So oh yeah, like, you can go from an easy, like you won't use brie for like mac and cheese. Oh. <laughs> you can, but it's more like you'll use it, like you'll top it off on top of the mac and cheese and throw it oh, on the yeah. broiler. So I'm like, oh yeah, you know what? I'm gonna throw a little bit of gouda and manchego on this mac and cheese. Gouda. 
Yeah, because it's quite Gouda. Gouda. <laughs> <laughs> you, you always got to make that joke. Yeah. When you <laughs> <say Gouda. laughs> but yeah, then you can also like, oh, you like if you go to the higher fancy restaurants, you can like, oh, like, you know what? You got your mouth, you got the sharp, your extra sharp cheddar. And then you're like, oh, you know what? How much did it age? Was it a five, 10, 15 year age cheddar? You got your one. Like, it all depends. Yeah. Like, so, um. I guess so. You came back here. You went to school and everything. And I guess, like you say, you're working at restaurants now. What's that made you want to like start saber tooth, like, and start with you know the jerky and the chewed, uh, I guess, chewed fruit and all that stuff. Well, my mom. Yeah, mom. Uh, yeah, my mom. Uh, she's just she. Uh, she's the best way to put it. The nicest way to put it. She's <laughs> kind of like a health nut, like. A non-qualified nutritionist. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have a degree in it, but she's like, don't need them. It's all, which yeah. is the same as all of the. Um, God, I had the name and it just blanked. <laughs> what is all the shakes that everyone's drinking? Uh, like kale and all. No, that yeah, time. but like that specific uh, company that it's like the pyramid thing, pyramid scheme. The Herbalife. Herbalife. Uh, there you yeah. go. So it, not exactly like that, but more in the sense of like she looks into, she reaches, uh, researches her own. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, so like she, when I was a kid, she like, oh, hey, like, hey, mijito, we're going to drink some. Like I call it the green goop, which is just pretty much a vegetable smoothie in the morning, every morning. And I was like, this tastes like shit. <laughs> I, I just didn't like it. It was just. I think I know what you're talking about. I think everybody's <laughs> mom made that one. I had that exact no, same one. <laughs> Well, no, I can't say because no, yeah. my friends weren't there. <laughs> I never knew my father. my parents weren't there. Oh, that's because like the way you said, like my, my parents weren't there. Like, well, it's because like my friends wouldn't would work early, so like I woke up at six and they were leaving. <laughs> all right, so I had to go to like I had to get walk to school and all that. That's why, man, like I had to like make my own shit. That's how I learned how to cook because I had to cook for myself. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, like, um, did you understand his reverence stuff? <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. I, did. <laughs> I was gonna say, dude, come on. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was like, oh shit, like, how does it? Like my, like my friends don't know I do this. So. <laughs> Fuck that. And the thing is, like, off track for a bit. Like, I use that as dark humor. Like, with a couple of my friends, it's like, oh yeah, my parents. I'm like, at least you had both. <laughs> <laughs> and I just go like my father ne- I never met my father I don't remember him <laughs> but yeah my mama I actually like besides like me always wanting to cook like uh, make my own catering or at least a restaurant for the snacks actually my mom gave me the idea cause um cause um well we're not an alcoholic towards my friends so it's okay um, <laughs> I'm an alcoholic dad. So. <laughs> Self-proclaimed. But uh, yeah, like um, she just kind of like the Mexican style of carne seca. Yeah. Where it's kind of like the same as beef jerky, but it's thinned out as thin as it can get. And it's mostly meant for menchiladas. And like, yeah, so we had them one time for... Is? Yeah, well, like, that. well, the Hispanic way. That's why. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, like I just didn't know that, honestly. Yeah, because if um, there's, I'm trying to remember the uh, the restaurant on the west side by Walmart. It's a it's a little bar. Uh, Carlos and Mickey. No, no, no. no, no. I'm it's sorry. Um, um, El, no, that's El Uh, fuck. We went the. We other went day. there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they have. Yeah, we know. We'll so they have like three, or four drinks with. Yeah, like, they have the. I know what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, so, behind classical. Yeah, there it is. Well, it's solid. It's, cla- yeah, it's, it's classical. classical. Oh, okay. Classical. Like, yeah, I was thinking of classical. Yeah. No, it's classical. Yeah, it's right. classical. So, yeah, like, I was thinking um, of the restaurant. So, my mom, like, we were having a party and she's like, oh, yeah, we're going to make menchiladas and all oh. this. So, like, up there. And then, like, we had so much, like, dried meat left over. And I just, well, I was just snacking and snacking. And, like, I shared it between my friends. Like, oh, dude, this is good. Like, it's a good snack and all that. And then the reason I, I, I made the fruit version, the fruit chewies, Beans. Was because uh, <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> I have a couple of friends who are uh, vegetarian. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna open okay. one of these. Go ahead, Brad. Uh, um, that one you're opening up is gonna be the teriyaki. Yes. Uh, uh, open it. Oh, I'll take open that, one. One. I'll open that one. I'll open something. Yeah, because that's the mango. The mango we got the pineapple. The that's pineapple. the pineapple. Which one's the other meat? One? Then we got the. This one will be the 
caveman and the jalapeno so, lime. Wait, what's a caveman? It's just the caveman is a special seasoning. It's pretty much a spicy pepper. It has a uh, fennel, crushed pepper, salt, pepper, as well as uh, I never had. I had your jalapeno lime, so I'm gonna have to open this one. Damn. Oh, crap. <laughs> If we're a dot. What's up? I don't know. <laughs> That's really good, man. I think it's That's really good. I like also your packaging, dude. Yeah, Fucking the packaging prime. is really cool. Oh, thank you, bro. Yeah, like the the stickers, one of my homeboys helped me design it. And then um, one of my homegirls, she helped me get it to uh, <laughs> uh, was it Ado- on a, an Adobe. Yeah. To get it up and going and... So right now I don't. I also want to make little stickers for the flavorings because I like. I don't want to just put like oh, just the name like jalapeno lime and that's it. Now nah, like I actually I like more visual yeah. than anything because that's how we do it. That's how like old chip like tell us old chip like getting yeah. to Gus. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> on. come on. Which I'm drinking yeah. right now. Actually, I have to change that. Really, I have to. Yeah. So, thank so you like I, I'm it. a very visual person. So like instead of just putting a regular name. Like I've been starting to make um some stickers to put in the bottom to identify the bags. So like for the jalapeno limes, you're gonna see uh my favorite style of cartoon is rubber hose. Nice. Like the not the the old school nineteen forties animation style with mm. like the Mickey Mouse and all that. Like I have a tattoo yeah, right. right here of the Green Reaper, rubber hose style. Hell yeah. <laughs> Shout out to my two two artist, Lily Pad. Well, that's not her name, but that's what I call her. She um, knows what she is. <laughs> Well, <laughs> so i pretty much like pretty um i want to make those kind of animations on them to identify the flavor because also I'm like if you like the sticker you're gonna put it on something you're like oh yeah i got this from this person and it's from saber tooth it's really cool and like the flavor is really good and yeah, they're yeah, looking good they're like which one was this the um, caveman yeah caveman caveman like already have to we'll say it's like bold <laughs> caveman <laughs> Um, fucking good though. Thank you, man. You're the you're our actual first like um, snack guy. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like that's. The thing it's also like, you're right. Like if it's you want to walk, I want to walk around town and just have a snack on your yeah, back. Like, like, have like, a snack in your back pocket. Fuck yeah, dude! Like I always, I'm gonna just fucking rent the scoots and just like scoot around <laughs> with this. Not break my finger like Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because that's oh, that, God. because that's a, that's a sad like that's a sad thing about downtown, which I wish it was more live. Like besides the bars, and of I want to say I think only Mona Tap and probably Absolutely. International. Like Our they're region. yeah they're they're the only ones with like probably their kitchen open. Maybe mm-hmm. Church Bar. I don't know what time they close. Like they probably hold open until twelve or one. I didn't even know they had a kitchen. So I didn't know they passed regulations for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So if you um, oh no they they partner they partner up with um Sona it Centro. Up. no the church part partner up with Sona Centro. oh okay yeah I I I I that's why I'm like I haven't been in church bar in a while so I'm like I know they got a kitchen but I don't know who's like partnering with them I think that's the reason <coughs> can I think that's the reason can away. yeah because um right now I also know that um what is it what is it whiskey dicks finally got their um actual like food trailer in oh did they really yeah and they're i think they're gonna open up this weekend um give me lagro that's Hello. what i'm like i like i try to stay on point on what's new, going on yeah what's going on with at least with the restaurant businesses and like i try to go to as many different restaurants i can i can go to just to hey like you know like oh if somebody asks for a specific like that's what it's there for. That's yeah, what it's meant for. <laughs> dude, it actually is good with the <laughs> with the wawa. I wouldn't do the teriyaki because it's just too, <laughs> too much sweetness. But I have to. I just I get curious. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um. So what's the process for you for these? For these, these are um these are dehydrated, so they're pretty much. I have a. I have a little machine that like heats them up because like most jerkies you want to cook them in a very low heat. You can probably do it in the oven if it's digital. Oh, okay. Because um, you control for, the temperature. Yeah, for, you you have to control the temperature very precisely for a jerky. It's between 155 to 145 degrees, and it's in there for six to seven hours. 
depending on how long or how like how chewy you want it how like depending also how thick the meat is how she said oh yeah mine's Sorry. thick i couldn't the, help it the triple c's uh, <laughs> oh, triple c's, c's. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. So, so one of the tick. C's it's just my name, but <laughs> <laughs> I had it on but, there. <laughs> but we get the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, for that it's um it's a process of like I have uh, I have a machine that helps me do it. So I, I'll prep it in my in my kitchen, have it ready to go, throw them in there. Um they're about sheet trays, about a foot and a half by a foot and a half. And they're in there. So, like, once I cut the meat, mar- like, some of them require mar- like being marinated, which will be uh, the teriyaki as well as the jalapeno lime. And I got, I'm, the, <laughs> I'm super the, curious now. Uh, with my new flavor for the lemon pepper, which I'm reamping, I'm actually going to lim- uh, marinate it in lime juice, just like the jalapeno lime, to give it more flavor. Yeah. So, that's pretty much the process. It's just cooking it seasoning it the way you want to marinating it and then putting them in the sheets and then letting them in the machine for six to seven hours depending on how you like them as well as the fruit but the fruit's a lower temperature because um you don't want the sugars to crystallize in a certain way and then you pretty much you're cooking the fruit kind of like grilling um like grilled pineapple. pineapple on the grill yeah pretty much like that's that's way too hot like the center of it there's like there'll be a lot of moisture left in okay so cooking a low more uh low temperature for a for a long time lets that moisture just evaporate slowly so it doesn't like curl up it doesn't taste like it's burnt or like the caramel the the sugars inside the fruit or the well also like the meat has some sugars in it so it doesn't caramelize in that sense so they're nice and tender and the fruits are chewy. So when you make these, do you usually make like one specific flavor all at one time or can you yes, do multiple flavors I, together? Or how do I, you it like depends that? on um, what I'm making. If it's fruit, it's a whole day process. Okay. Because um, sure. no matter, I I have like, I'm right now the fruits I'm cutting by hand as well as the, um, the jerky because I, I want to, actually buy my own deli slicer to Mm. cut that to cut them more more symmetrical in the sense of like they're all the same thickness just break it into arby's (laughs) (laughs) take it up this is like oh talking about arby's i actually (laughs) heard somebody for the first time in my life it's like hey let's go to arby's and i'm like Wait, people go to Arby's? Dude, I fucking love Arby's. I was gonna say I go to Arby's. (laughs) The thing is like I went two days ago. (laughs) No but that's the thing like I go to Arby's, but I think it's not, it's more of the sense of like I only go probably like once or twice a year. Well, yeah, I was saying, I, you say too, I haven't been honestly in like a year probably. And so then like, when I go, I'll say this: I always get the chicken sandwich. So I like, don't know why. And that's the thing. Like I heard, say, I heard these people like, "Yeah, let's go to Arby's." They're like, dude, you went yesterday, dude. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, so you're the people supporting Arby's? <laughs> I see their parking lots always empty. Bro. <laughs> I always, get, those, I always get the half pound. Those restaurants are so <laughs> run down. You look at them and it looks like a ghost town. It doesn't look like anybody's in there anymore. But then surprisingly, yeah. they don't close. They're, they're <laughs> open. They they're yeah. open. It, like, I'm not going to, I went twice this month. <laughs> I was, because I went, I was like, I'm craving like, hey, something. Hey, okay, man. Quick. We're not judging you. It's fine. Like, judge me. I don't yeah, care. No, that's cool, man. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Give, I'm it's not gonna it's fucking. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, is he gonna leave him? He's leaving him. I, I should have left you like Barney Simpson. <laughs> Come on, guys, somebody, <laughs> please, please, <laughs> stay, <laughs> stay, <laughs> stay, stay, stay the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> like, please, somebody, please. I would have self <laughs> high five myself. <laughs> Do it. No, it's too late. You already gave it to me. <laughs> no, but I went because I went once. Just just like after work, it was just like I don't want to make anything. But I grabbed like something quick, and I got pissed off because they didn't have Arby sauce. It's like. <laughs> your Arby's you're supposed to have like, Arby's sauce why don't you and then I went like two days later and I was like I'm gonna get the half pound and give me extra Arby's sauce motherfucker so why Sabretooth <laughs> Sabretooth uh, how'd you come up with that with that with that name um, were you watching Power Rangers and they were like Sabretooth Tiger you're like oh that's it right uh, there just change the B yeah, to a B yeah pretty much like S-A-V-O-R so <laughs> S-A-B-E-R oh. but <laughs> spelling right there state champ nah I'm <laughs> <laughs> Like y'all Join the fake award. <laughs> Just let it out there. I was a state champion. 
No, nah, that was it. Did it make um, it to the national? <laughs> it's because yeah. um, I really um, like it started off with my grandma. Like that's like, ironically um, because my grandma raised me Catholic and all that. Yep. So, but the thing is, um, one thing that stuck with me even now was the Saint Death. So I have a small like not obsession but a fascination of skulls. I like I have. <clears throat> I still haven't gotten my human skull yet. I don't know where I'm going to get it. <laughs> what? what? But yeah, I have, a, I have ram. I have an antelope. I have a bull. I have an ox. Like, I have skulls in my apartment. Okay. Yeah. It's one thing that I always loved. And one thing that I always wanted to get is an actual saber tooth skull. <laughs> and, yeah, and those things are running like for fifteen hundred dollars. I was saying it's not like they come that yeah. often. <laughs> so like it's a fifteen, like it's a fifteen hundred dollar to get actual like authentic. That's what I want. But so that's kind of like how like I just like skulls and like you know like and then like savor like what I I'm enjoying. <laughs> like one of my friends is like, oh yeah, dude, this is like it's very like like I'm savoring the food that you make and like it kind of stuck with me. And so I kind of mixed both of them. Like, like the only animal that I kind of went with it was like, like the saber tooth tiger, like saber tooth. And I kind of went with that name and just I, I've gotten a couple of um, people here in El Paso who's like, oh, "Are you associated with saber tooth?" I'm like, "No." It happens a lot. <laughs> it, ha- it, it happens. And like once, shout out to that place. It's actually really good. I like their tacos and their mac and cheese, but. Um, but yeah, like I'm not associated with them. I so I'm like it's something like right now. Those are like the basic stickers. Once I actually get a chance to reamp them even more, I would have. I'm gonna put on my Facebook, my Instagram, as well as uh, my email, so that anybody can contact me. Yeah, OnlyFans. Yeah, you know, it's just you making your food. It's pretty much, and I I've been told like, dude, just make a YouTube, like make a video, I'm like. I don't, I don't, I don't, I just make it. I'm like, I have no recipe. Like, like I do have a few recipes, but like, but you don't want to put them out. I no. have an idea. Can we, I mean, if you're interested, we can talk about it later, but I think it'd be cool since you're, you like to try and replicate recipes and you said you like to like try and steal them and extract <laughs> them. We find like whatever the best recipes we can find, whether like fast food restaurants, whatever. And we say, all right, how are you going to make this for us today? And we'll record. And we'll record you. <laughs> All right. I'm I mean, done. start it out there. We'll see what happens. No, but, yeah, you know. That's the thing. Like, <laughs> like uh, was it um, McDonald's Max Ass? Max Ass? Max Ass? Max Ass? Max Ass? <laughs> well, see, there you go. <laughs> we'll take it, and that's what we'll call it. The Max Ass. <laughs> We're smacking that ass. <laughs> with the Max Ass. Because <laughs> once you edit, you're going to sass everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I... Like when everyone's like, "Oh yeah, it's a thousand island dressing with a little bit of mayo or something," like, like kind of like I made my own one because um, I also like make my own sauces from scratch, like especially mayo. I make mayo from home. I don't even bother hey, buying only? it. Yeah, pretty much like when it's like, yeah, I just want to go with that way. Uh, <laughs> I'm the, making, yeah, I'm making the mayoli. And that so was like the only term I know. That's so. Oh, yeah. so I remember from being a cook. Yeah, <laughs> so um, <laughs> yeah, make a- aiolis, and like my version of that is um, I make my own pickles as well. Okay. So, size. Uh, Do you grow them in a jar? Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. Sweet. Like you open I, it every couple of weeks. I'm actually surprised that I knew that. It's the only <laughs> thing I'll probably know when it comes to cooking and stuff. Pickles, pickles, <laughs> pickles. They come in a jar, they right? In, no, oh, yeah. I, remember, I, I honestly remember we had like a little science project like that in school once, and we made pickles in a fucking jar. I remember yeah. why, well, just because I watched a video earlier, like the old way they used to make it with salt only. Yeah, but it's really like dangerous <laughs> to do it with yeah. salt. Yeah. <laughs> the guy who was trying is like, I don't know if I'm gonna get hey, sick. <laughs> Sodium chloride, some serious stuff yeah. right there. Yeah, like especially with um. I high the doses name. i'm like whenever i see like he was like oh yeah like this is so salty so good i'm like they can add a little bit more salt i'm like dude you know how much salt you know what i'll be honest i do not like salt much um, i can't stand like people do that for some reason and my dad's one of those people <laughs> my grandpa. we'll get food my, like when i go to eat breakfast with my parents we'll get the breakfast on my dad's always there in la side when there's a side i'm like she already put salt in there. Why do you need uh, more? My my grandfather was like that, but he would put salt on his stuff, and you don't even ask him. You just put it on your, uh, sorry, on your plate. <laughs> like, what the fuck, Chris? <laughs> like, 
It wasn't really salty, motherfucker. But yeah, like, I'm not a salty person. Rest in peace, Grandpa. <laughs> I don't yeah. salt because of him. <laughs> so yeah, like uh, like that version, like I made my own um, technical like mac sauce yeah. in that sense, and I'm I've added on burgers and it's really good. Yeah. So I'm like, I am totally down. Like, yo, we have like this idea for this certain restaurant or come close to it. I'm like, all right, with my knowledge and skill, I will try to mimic mimic, mimic as well as possible. I. <laughs> English is a hard language. <laughs> it's okay, man. You're like, um, but that'd be cool to do. I think it'd be fun. No, yeah, fun. I'm just gonna be eating. So <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, all right, you got 30 minutes. Cook. Yeah, right. Dude, you know how long it takes to make this soup? It's an hour. You got 30 like, minutes. What do you mean? You gotta just put water in the bowl? Here you go. It's uncooked. <laughs> Have Here, I even bottled it for you. <laughs> Put it in the can. Like, how the fuck you did this, man? <laughs> I got my means. I got my means. I got I a have hammer. so many questions, but I don't want the answer. Right. Hey, don't you worry about that. Just fucking eat your soup. <laughs> got so, um, so you got saber tooth now. Yeah. And you're making the jerky. You're making the fruit. What's kind of like your next, next goal, your next step next that you want to achieve? That's how he gets his human skull. <laughs> You know, Shit, you, I'm a little scared. You, know, you know about the whole entire movie Sweeney Todd? Exactly like that. Ooh, exactly. I gotta say, Johnny Depp is a little underrated in that film. Yeah, uh, yeah. I haven't watched that one. Nah, you wouldn't. It's a musical. Dude, I love musicals. Lies! Repo the Genera Opera is one of my favorite ones. <laughs> uh, all we hear now is like, you sit in a bed of lies. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> Make you my husband. <laughs> No, but you're not gonna lie, you should all check that. It's a horror uh, industrial metal musical. Free fire. Ooh. Repo the generic opera. But um, yeah, like, what are my next steps that I really wanna go to is um, once once I'm able to make the, the snacks regularly and more often where I can actually like make it good enough profit where I can take the next step, I do wanna do small caterings for uh my own barbecue with the barbecue like kind of said like um, the ribs the brisket and your choice of either pork or um pork or beef and i've even done it for a couple of friends um like vegetarian vegan kind of thing mm -hmm. with cauliflower like a whole head mm -hmm. of cauliflower so like i want to branch out to that where like because I right now, like that's something that I can do at home right off the bat, right there and there. Because I do have a smoker. smoker. That's what I was gonna ask. Yeah, like I have, I have a smoker. Because like once, and then once that kicks off even more, like I would like to open a restaurant or get my food truck. Because I do have recipes for like four different types of tacos. I have cheese fries. Where you can go with the regular or the vegetarian. And the reason why I keep on saying vegetarian or vegan is because I been in so many areas, met so many people that and I have a couple of like a lot of friends who are well, vegetarian. I was gonna say I think even then, like now that's just like a it's big, just the standard. It's just the standard now. You have to have some kind yeah, of vegan or vegetarian option. A lot of business yeah, business. yeah, yeah I mean, and it is because I'm like, I don't wanna just like supply like, ooh, a salad. That's for my vegetarian yeah. or vegan because i'm like nah dude they they like substance i'm like i have i have recipes for a mushroom tacos i have like recipes for tofu tacos well tacos is like also like a huge thing that i'm trying to go with but um like also beets and like beets. dry beets are shit yeah they are i hear beets and i just think of doug <laughs> There's a bark at the end of like Yeah, bunch of barks. He included the bark, god damn. Like he's committed. I'm committed. Like I'm like out like sooner or later, it's just like with the rug rats. The whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the little milk splatter <laughs> like holy shit 
Where'd you get that from? Uh, I already opened it. <laughs> oh, damn. So are you opening the bag? <laughs> yeah, I'm carrying it at this point. Are you going to bite it? No, I just opened it to show the fucking <laughs> I mean, like, shit. now. Yeah. I have to commit. We'll do it. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not paying. Yeah, I have the one chip challenge. I don't know what we're talking about this thing. <laughs> Yeah, Alex just kind of got carried away and decided to open I, up the chip. <laughs> it got me exci- the jerky got me excited. He's, He's like, like, I'm going to spice things up a bit. Real, a little bit. I want to die. Um, yeah, so, I divided in three for you. Go- <laughs> hell no. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not you, don't have, you can do the little one, everyone. I'm going with you. I'm, oh, take, I'm taking at least a good bite. All right. They're biting <laughs> the chip. I'm going to commentate on this. There's a crunch. Oh, yeah, so. my nostril already. Oh, okay, we already got flared nostrils up in here. Well, I was like, as soon as I as bite, soon as you bit it, you just felt the. It was more of a sense of like the, the chili powder. Yeah. Soon I bit, yeah. Boom! Shot up in my nose. Oh, what? What? It's a good crunch chip, though. It is. It's fried very well, and the heat is kicking in. Yeah, y'all can suffer. I'm just gonna eat some sweet teriyaki <laughs> jerky over here. Yeah, I'm gonna have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I must. I guess that you want your barbecue. <laughs> You're big on barbecue. Yes, yes, I am. Very. What's much so. like to you the key to the perfect barbecue? As in, like on the grill or smoking or just overall? Overall, I mean, like, what's like your preferred best way? Like you say, damn, this is the best damn barbecue I've ever had. I would have to go with the barbecue sauce as well as how tender is the beef. Those two criteria. I'm so not salivating too much. <laughs> <laughs> He's just salivating too much. Oh, God. But yeah, that's like the two criteria. And then once you go with, once you go with those two, you have to go with the. Uh, the sides. What kind of sides are you having? How's your coleslaw? Yeah, I'm gonna breathe it in. <laughs> <laughs> I like asking the questions while you guys are both trying to get through the chip. So fucking late for that. <laughs> oh, so the sides man. are coleslaw, your mac and cheese, your Texas chili, Ooh. in which your Texas chili can be without beans or with beans, up to you. I prefer with beans. Okay. Just because of the coldness of it. <laughs> oh shit! It's not the opening. It's like gonna make it work. Oh man, peanut butter will help so much right now. I have peanut butter, but it's too far away from here. <laughs> I'm gonna get the peanut butter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're obviously both dying right now. Um, what's your favorite kind of barbecue? Like, what do you what's when you get to it? What what do you like want to cook for yourself? And I guess your preferred side. Um, brisket. Pork. Pork. Pork brisket. Pork. Quick little intercession. Uh, so they took the one chip challenge. Guys, really quick. How was that? Um, painful? Not, <laughs> it was, but not as painful as I thought it would be. <laughs> it actually <laughs> went quicker. Yeah, it, it didn't last as long as I thought it would. Yeah, peanut butter helped, but... Yeah, I didn't know the peanut butter one. <laughs> so I'm amazed now I'm going to put it Like, if I ever do a hot challenge, I'm taking peanut butter. Oh, I do them all the time. So <laughs> fucking bro. He's going to be like, like, we got you, man. Here's the peanut butter. <laughs> Shocking it. Yeah, that's actually the first thing that we did, I guess, because of how we told you we started off doing, like, movie reviews. Yeah. The first one that we switched off of wasn't movie reviews. This guy did the hot wing challenge, I guess, over at... um. Uh, King Beans? and Brew? No, King and Brew on the east side. Okay. With uh, Jono? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's the year before I won. And I was cocky. I ate Dang. everybody else's wings because they didn't finish them. <laughs> <laughs> but that, being that, he was like, dude, you fucked up because it was just 10 minutes. Wait, yeah. you made it in the 30 minute one because of my own fucking cockiness. He's that like, do you know what? You gotta wait. You, you the can't... 30 minutes just made it worse. It's just yeah, like... it's just like it, it builds. It really does. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, man. I When they brought those wings out, I don't eat hot sauce. I don't eat hot food at all. They brought him out, and you just the smell of it, and I was like, this motherfucker is going to die. Right. And what was crazy, the second everybody ate the first wing, there was like, what, 10 of you guys at first? It was 12. 12. As soon as they took up one bite of the first wing, yeah. there was only four people left. Right. Yeah. Because I, uh, I took the wing challenge at Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, yeah, I done that one. So I'm like, and that one, like, 
I technically finished, but not in their time limit, just because the wings were actually hot in the sense of temperature. Like it was just hot. Like I was like, take a bite. <laughs> And then I'll take another bite. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like a panting dog. She was like trying to eat those wings, trying to cool them down in temperature wise. But like the spice wasn't what killed me. It was just like, they were just a hot. fresh, fresh out of the fryer. That, that was the problem. Like with the Kedama one, it was just the noodles were fucking steaming hot. Yeah. I was just like, it's not the, the spice because I had the, the broth before. It wasn't that bad. Just fucking the noodles. Like when they come out like fresh yeah, and just hot, like, you're just oh! like, and this like, is heat on it heat. Is 50 I wonder, I'm just like, I wonder oh, if there's fuck. any other restaurants that do like just hot food challenges. Uh, Are uh, there? Yeah. I, think hun- I did it with yeah. the pizza one with Arduinos. They have one? I didn't know they had that. it for two years. Oh, so okay. 2018, 2019. I did both. Oh, okay. Another, um, I'm just popping up ideas today. Well, yeah. we, we should go around all the restaurants here, the little hot challenges, and put you, and it can act as your training so you can get back know, to next back year. To, I have, and we can, you can win your title back. But, anyways, oh, we should go. The fuck you bunched down. Okay, I'm keeping it to myself. I ain't saying anything else on here. <laughs> you better not steal my secret. Copyright. I'm telling you right now, if anybody takes it, I'm coming it's a after fucking you. Joke. We I'm coming after it. It's recorded. We have history already. I can prove it to a judge. Just saying. <laughs> Talk to my lawyer about yeah. it. And we got a lawyer. Um, <laughs> Was I chugging my beers? Or maybe like um, but yeah, so with all that stuff, we were talking about the, Same one? Yeah. the before these guys at the hot wing challenge, and we were talking to Carlos here about <laughs> what his next step was. And you know, I know you were mentioning you wanted to do barbecue and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, like um, I want to do catering barbecue. Like um, I did it in the beginning of the year for the Super Bowl. Okay. I did that for a bit. I was like, hey guys, it was um, two stacks of ribs for $40, three for 50 and yeah, I sold, I want to say a good 20, 28 ribs that day. Damn, huh? So it was like, and I, and I'll ask them like, when, like, before I deliver them, like, would you like them cut or not? Cause I can cut them for you. So they all you have to do is just plate them and you're good to go. But I know a couple of like, a couple of them asked me like, nah, you know what? Like, um, I don't want to plate them and I don't want no sauce on them. Cause mm. I can also like sauce them. Yeah. Up. Cause the the rub that I have for my barbecue, my smoked barbecue and everything, it's a it's a special rub. So the rub itself tastes amazing by itself with no sauce on top. It doesn't it doesn't like I like I can guarantee you if you tried it, it doesn't need a sauce. The sauce adds more extra flavor. It adds a different texture to the meat as well. As in like. I'm going to steal it from KFC right now. Finger licking good. <laughs> they still use it? Yeah. yeah. Really? They oh, still yeah. use it. They still use it. So I'm like, I don't know. Please don't charge me. Free ad- on the bottom. You know I give okay, you a no. free, I, I give, we'll you, give you a free little advertisement there for KFC. <laughs> Be sure to go to your local KFC. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, but yeah, like I, so far from like, uh, my friends and uh, people who like got me through like I want to like I guess third party or recommended me from my friends like try hey try this like so far I've gotten really good compliments on like how how tasteful and everything the the ribs or the brisket tastes just without the sauce because I I normally add the sauce on the side uh huh. And with that, I make the OG sauce, the honey sauce, and then the honey. Well, you can make it honey hot or just the barbecue hot sauce. And it's your choice. And I'll add it like pretty much for free because I, the way I make everything, I always, I incorporate, I incorporate whatever I use to the sauce. And I'm like, you know, don't even worry about it. It's just like it might cost an, it's just an extra five dollars. So yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude, it's not even. It's I'm like, if you ask, like, you know, can I have all three sauces? I'm like, all right, hold up, I'll charge you a little bit. Cause it's but three I'm sauces. Like, yeah, three sauces. But I'm like, if you just, you know, can I have just one sauce? Yeah, dude, I fuck yeah, I'll give you like. And I've even gotten requested like, hey, dude, can I just have the sauce by itself? I'm like, yeah, I can do that for you. And you packet it. <laughs> That's all, <laughs> man. Uh, well, I'll have to keep you in mind because I gotta say, I mean, I per- I know Alex likes Tony's a lot, so I'm assuming he's the same way. Um, 
I love barbecue. Like They're that's like that's shit. like one of my favorite things to eat. So the next time you're doing that stuff, no, yeah, be yeah. sure to let us know because I and, definitely would want to buy some off. And that's one thing too, Mike. I um, I always take. I guess the best way to put it, challenges. Yeah. Because um, I've I have friends who have like dietary guidelines, or they're like either they're like you know what I'm trying to be a bodybuilder, so I'm only strict. I can only eat this certain way. I'm vegetarian, vegan. I can only eat this certain way. I am allergic, so I can only eat this certain way. Is that the hardest, like with the allergies one? Yes, actually, uh, because there's certain things where I'm like, Fuck, I, I, I have two. I else. have I, easily. I have an example. I have two friends who are actually allergic to gluten. Oh fuck! I haven't yeah, so that one they're in a while. they're actually a real allergic. quick. What yeah. exactly is gluten? Right. Gluten is a uh, is a type of um, I guess the best way to put it molecule or um, strand inside wheat, barley, and other types of flour. It it doesn't appear in um, rice or corn. Okay, but more like um, wheat, regular flour, barley, and other things like that. So when you add all the ingredients and you make it into a dough and you stretch it. That stretchiness of the dough is actually the gluten holding it together. Yeah. So that's technically what gluten is. So how do you make something gluten free then? So there's a lot of substitutes. So like when people like they use almond flour, they use coconut flour, they use like rice flour. So, but the thing is like, um, a lot of those agents with the gluten in order for like the bread to be lifted, like then the gluten holds the rest, the bread together. When you make those kind of breads, they're really dense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of different ways you have to use emulsifiers. You have to use lifteners. Like this one, uh, what is it? Uh, they use it on bread all the time. I completely forgot about it. Holy shit. Blanking out right now. But uh, yeast, yeast, is a great liftner like it's just it makes bubbles and all that so a lot of times it's like like especially also like making a souffle you can i've learned how to make a souffle without flour flour yeah it's uh use egg whites you fluff them up you fold in either like the almond or your coconut flour that's going to give it flavor on its own as well yeah. and it's pretty much like those other versions of like um it's called like omelet clouds. Okay. So it's like a really fluffy omelet, but it's actually just kind of like a version of a meringue mm. just with no sugar. Okay. So that's, that's kind of like a small brief description of what. Yeah. I mean, is. I was learning cause I mean, I've heard people like, especially in the more recently yeah, and, that it's like, Oh, I'm allergic to gluten. I have to eat gluten free. And I'm always like, what exactly is gluten? And, and I've never heard of that. And that's a funny thing. Like, um, uh, Gluten, people who are actually affected by gluten um, affect them a different way. One of my funniest and favorite stories is that gluten happens to be in beer, too, because you use wheat as well as like to make the like to make the beer pretty much. And so this guy cannot eat a loaf of bread. But he can drink a beer. No, what I mean is like he can't eat, like he he won't drink any beers because oh, if he drinks okay. beers, he yeah, gets yeah, yeah. drunker faster. But if he eats bread, he gets drunk as well because yeah. the way his stomach <laughs> associates the gluten and the and the wheat and the flour actually makes it like it. Um, oh, I was gonna say fertilize, but that's not the <laughs> word. <laughs> Something uh, it just causes like a chemical reaction yeah, to, to like, replicate like the beer. alcohol yeah, pretty much. consumption. It, it's yeah, pretty kinda much. like uh, when your sugar levels sometimes go to high, your blood creates alcohol to it. Yeah. So it's the same. Even like that's why like Guinness says it's gluten free. Yeah. Like some a lot of the stouts are uh, they say gluten free. That's that crazy, reason. man. So that's like. That's funny. Could you imagine they give him a sandwich and he's all. <laughs> Twenty um, minutes later, he's just like he's on the floor. <laughs> he's like, this was mom. What'd you put in my sandwich, mom? This is the best like sandwich. Another one. On the <laughs> another one. What are you looking <laughs> at? Getting drunk with a PB and J. That's one hell of a morning. Right, right. Right. That's that's what I call a morning beer right there. 
That's a trasher. You know what I was thinking? Up. Someone should make a peanut butter and jelly beer. They did. They uh, did. Damn it. Oh, uh, I think Old Brewery made one Old as Brewery well. And uh, that bitch. Did they really? Yeah. yeah. Sa- well, sadly, Old Brewery, uh, Old Brewery is closed. No longer. No longer with us. Rest in peace, pro and half my homies. Yeah, I'm uh, not gonna pour one, but, <laughs> but you I, mean, I can't pour beer. it, but I will yeah. drink but one like, for the um, homies. De- uh, was it Dead Beach Beer? We made one two years ago, I think it was. Yeah, with the because they were doing a uh, beers and donuts. Yes. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, I do that, remember that. I was it. I went to the was it beer fest downtown. Yeah. There, I guess their version. The number five. Yeah. <laughs> and holy shit! What happened that? <laughs> And yeah, that's the first time I tasted their uh, PB and J beer, as well as I think they had an abuelita. They call it an yeah, abuelita. Well, yeah. yeah, that one was dope. Not mm-hmm. lie. Yeah, because also uh, Martin House, no, Martin House, a uh, Marble Brewery has a peanut butter and jelly beer, only serve on tap. Yeah. Really? I don't know. You guys are like Marble a, has, a, has a lot of like beers that they, they don't a, sell had, outside their tap. Right? I had a peanut butter and pecan beer yesterday at the Pecan Brewery in Las Cruces. Yeah. And I was drinking that. That one was delicious, by the yeah, way. And it smells so good. But yeah, I was drinking that. I was like, hmm, why has nobody made a peanut butter and jelly beer? But apparently people have, <laughs> yeah. and I just haven't tried it. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Oh, wait, no, no. Yeah. But either way, that's nothing better than cold cheap dog beer. Mm. Shout out to our sponsor. Also, but that was I'm just saying, man. <laughs> no. I, 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 me personally, I didn't understand what the hell it said, but. To that brewery that we got a free beer. Oh, yes. Old Sheepdog. Oh, old Sheepdog. There we go. I know. I was like, oh, I'm like, it's oh, okay. like, oh, okay. We'll just bleep that part when you said <laughs> to that brewery and we'll put old Sheepdog. <laughs> Here, look, here's a sample. That Sheepdog beer. <laughs> <laughs> I still like the fucking Habanero beer, Gus. It's my favorite beer. I know you put that name on the keg now. <laughs> Cause I'm the only one that's been buying it. Honestly, I'm starting to think this one might be my favorite, but just because of the color, the fact that it's a pink beer, I'm like, that was, Dude, that's fucking dope. Shout out to guys. Let me like, like, like pour it's it. Kind of gay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Are you going to, you going to the it's, epic it's, later? <laughs> it's fucking COVID, okay? Like, jeez. I don't. So I'm, I'm gonna catch you. At I just want the fucking burn. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's one hit. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dude, if you think about it, we, nobody really knows the na- like names of the gay bars except Epic. I yeah. just saw Epic. But and, Epic, uh, yeah. I know Brow, I know uh, Brower Patch, Bri- Briar Patch. Bri- Briar Patch. That's what's called. And Epic. Are what the was the other one in the corner? And then there's uh, Chiquititas. Chiquitas. Chiquitas. Oh, Chiquitas. And then uh, all I ever see is that the, one, the one that has the black and yellow uh, toolbox. Toolbox. Yeah. The only reason I know is because I actually thought there's it that was... one that goes down. Which yeah. is the one that goes down? <sighs> I associate the... all of them unless I see the sign as eight and a half or epic. <laughs> so like, they play the jazz I mean, and you're like, oh shit, guys. I'll guys, say guys, this. Guys, I guys. like that they're all in the exact same block Dude, right next to each other. That's I, the like, coolest the, thing. That's the thing. Like, I live like legitimately, like, well, I live downtown and I am like five minutes walking from those bars. Really? So... I've had like I've I worked where like I would get out at 11 10 o'clock at night and I was like you know what fuck it. I'm gonna go to pizza joint grab myself a pizza get something to eat enjoy the night because it was like a Friday or Saturday yeah and I, I was like you know how everybody like people watches at Walmart and all that late at night yeah, yeah, I, yeah. gay people watch at Walmart <laughs> I mean, I, at, the, at the gay bars and I've had I've had at least four to five interesting like interactions with him so one of my favorites is that i was sitting at pizza joint and i was just sitting there minding my own business and these group like i want to say three girls four guys two of the guys were straight the other two were gay and they're like they just saw me eating pizza it's like hey what you doing i'm like i'm just eating pizza like want to come join us i'm like cool fuck yeah company so i was just chilling there talking to them and getting to meet everybody I don't remember your names. I am sorry. I am very forgetful. But what impacted me was there's a guy, the gay guy right next to me was chilling right there. And then because we were sitting outside on the inside, there's another group. And by the window of uh, Pizza Joint, there's the gay guy. And they like him and the guy inside locked eyes, like just oh, like had a moment, had a moment. And I'm like, the fuck is going on 
And they start like going the whole drag queen, like drew like Paul race that show like full on like they first started doing like the whole entire like boat uh, like their dancing real quick and I'm like the fuck is going on I like I, I now I think about it all the time like I should take it on my phone <laughs> so at first they started like doing like sexual movements on the chair and I'm like oh fuck get it boy <laughs> and you then, start throwing money in there like what the if I had one I would <laughs> but skip like four or five interactions between them like towards the last bit they start doing like hardcore like i want to like legitly say like stripper style like leg movements on the chair like <laughs> like one guy like legitly brought his leg behind his leg like behind his head took out his like lipstick and like Put it on again. You're like, you is flexible. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like God damn. And then I'm like, the guy next to me, I'm like, what are you going to do? I am so curious. And so, I don't know how the fuck he did it on that chair. He picked himself up, grabbed his legs, and twisted to the side and did a split. Oh, shit. And on then the was, chairs? On the chair. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, his foot's like right here. And I'm like, oh, boy, what? What? <laughs> How the fuck? Like, and he's shotgun kind of, a beer. I'm, and I'm like, what kind of gymnastic shit is going on? And so, like, he then he bought, like, brought his other leg that was like facing that, like, back to his head, and kind of like, and then like he busted out a cigarette and starts just started smoking. And I'm like, that is like a gay flex that I've ever seen. So I'm like, <laughs> I it was like. Man, I, I will say that like those bars are entertaining at the very least. They are. They are entertaining. Uh, but, Dillinger's. Dill- oh, that's uh, what it's called. Yes, <laughs> Dillinger's. And also, like, I feel bad because like Omar's right there, and everybody thinks it's a gay boy. Craft and Sushi's not a gay boy, guys. <laughs> oh no, it's not. They're they're very no, LGBTQ the positive. Are just yeah, the ones. but it's just like it's, it's, it's just it just happened like, to be there. I thought it was there. a gay bar. It's like no, it's no, not. Dude, well, it's, it's not. Good. That's it's the right thing, there. It's, they're, they're, they're all right there. So you're gonna assume. They, yeah. they, they do. Have... That's all. Like I go into pizza. I'm like, you guys are a gay pizza parlor, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a gay gun roller. Like, hey, <laughs> you're a pepperoni. <laughs> I'll give you my pepperoni. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, you know what? How about I take your sausage 15 minutes later after my shift? Oh. <laughs> Woo. I don't know. Man. That's got to be the funniest thing you've ever done. I'm, I'm like, holy shit. What? I came out of nowhere. Oh, God. And after that flex, like, no. Yeah, one. no. Nothing's going to ever top that. That was funny. Good thing, uh, it's a good thing we got the uh, camera, too. Should be good. You're, you're listening to this. We have to watch that. Oh, man. <laughs> no, dude. I, honestly, the, the first time I remember going there, I was like, honestly, like very, very shooketh, shooketh, as in like, like I, you didn't expect. I, I'd never been to a gay bar in my games? life until <laughs> maybe like two, three years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, it was like when I first started working on working. Now I'm not gonna say, but I've met a lot of uh, like you know gay people since then. And one night I was hanging out with coworkers, and they were just like, "Hey, we're all gonna go to the gay bars. Do you want to come?" I was like. Wait, wait, we have gay bars? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, yeah, they're right there. I was like, okay, I've never been, but sure. And I remember going and I was just like, wow, this is cool. This is this is interesting, but it's cool. Yeah. It was what fun, it? man. When you were there, uh, did you have to get hit on and everything? I got hit on a couple of times. But the one thing oh, that was funny, fun. when I no, walked in, before we walked wait, in. Wait, what? Before, before, before we walked in there, before we walked in there, um, one of my coworkers, he he's gay and he told me he was like hey if you need to go to the restroom <laughs> stick tell me and i'll go with you i was like okay why just just tell me and i'll go with you like just tell me stick with me you'll be fine i was like all right cool and sure enough i remember i had to go i was like hey bro so i gotta go to the restroom like, all right all right let's go and we went he was just like okay extend, go and i'm gonna stand right here i was like dude i'm fine i was like no trust me and sure enough because i walked in and i was like oh, okay i see why but <laughs> They're yeah. fun, man. Like I've yeah. had some good times there, and then we've actually, <laughs> we've had probably I've had the worst shot of my life in one of those game bars too. Actually, we had well, we had it there. I don't know if it was your worst shot, but it was my worst shot ever. Like what no, kind of what kind of shot is it? We like, were a year ago, man. We did a scooter tour downtown. Yeah, one of our friends organized a scooter tour, and we were going all around, oh, and uh, we were at a national right. And all of a sudden, it came up. We were like, somebody in the group was like, "Hey, we should go to the gay bars." 
Uh, and uh, some guy's girlfriend never been to a gay bar. Yeah, she never uh, been. Okay. So she's like, we should go to the gay bars. And we're like, well, it wasn't really on the plan, but all right, why not? So we go. And uh, when we get in there and everything, the girl that organized the scooter tour, she knew the bartender. So when we got to the bar, he right away, like, gone, ran after her. I was like, oh, my God, hey, how are you, blah, blah, blah. And then she started talking to him. Then I guess he offered to get us all shots. And she had asked us, like, what do you guys want? I was like, I don't know. Like, just whatever. Just get us something. That's fine. So the guy is like, all right, cool. I got you guys. So he gets us a shot, whatever. And we are all there. And I think it was like a group of eight or nine of us, probably all at the same exact bar at the location. Take the shot. As soon, man, as we took it down, me personally, as soon as I took it down, I spacked it right back the fuck up with some puke in there. <laughs> and everybody else, I think this guy punched the wall. Yeah, I punched the wall um, next to the bathroom. Make a hole. And everybody else, oh, instant bad. reaction was just like, what the fuck was that? And we were there like, dude, that was the nastiest thing ever. And we asked the guy, like, dude, what did you give us? He's like, Rumpelmintz and Jaeger. Uh, Rumpelmintz and Jaeger. Which and I love Jaeger. I do. But no, Rumpel's means they're no. great. Separate, separate, but together, but together, it was the worst thing I have I'm, ever had in my life. I'm and trying, then I'm trying to remember, it's like a cough, like it's like cough medicine with licorice. Yes, basically, mm. it was disgusting, dude. Like it was fucking gross. It was just pain going down the throat. What you guys do with the chip challenge? Probably the exact same thing in liquid form. No, my worst shot was uh, Matt Damon. Oh, well. you Matt, know what a Matt Damon is? Right? Yes, yeah. But it was just because we worked at bars. We always joke about it. Until at the end, of like, someone has to But yeah, man, it. like... <laughs> and I've always made the joke, too, because, yeah. I mean, at the gay bars, I think they got a little bit of a heavy hand. Yeah. So I'm like, anytime time right. you go to the gay bar, I'm like, you got to be careful because <laughs> something is going to happen. I never got in hit in the gay bar. But when I was bartending, they bought, like, some like, gay guys bought me shots. And it's like, dude, like, I'm not taking I'm working right now. I was like, yeah. I'm not going to take the shot. Like, I'll take it if it was a girl. I was like, no, thank you, man. But like, I don't take shots when I'm working. And he's like, oh, but you should. I'm a professional. I'm a professional. When there's a cute girl around, I am not. (laughs) But (laughs) a white girl. (laughs) But like, like, like for you guys, like my worst shot. It wasn't a sense. It was like a really bad shot, as in taste wise. But um, I took a rumple snort skin, which is two shot glasses. One's upside down. I was like, is there any relation to the fireball foreskin? <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about it. <laughs> so you take two shot glasses, one's upside down. And then... Um, Real quick, only El Paso people would know what that is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> so in that little well of the shot that's upside down, yeah. you fill it up with your, like, your drink of choice. And then like my other one was like a Jameson. And so you get a straw and you snort that little covet through your nose. Mm-hmm. And then once you like take it up your nose, you take the other shot and then you take a chaser. That was like the best, like that was the best night, nice, like sinus cleaner I ever had. But also like the, the worst, morning. like the worst migraine I got for like five Dude. to 10 seconds. Just like, Oh, I've never done cocaine, but is this what it feels like? <laughs> Alex? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel like that. <laughs> I think it does. Yeah, I was, I was like, that Like that was like my worst shot experience because so far, like, I've never had a shot where I was like, wow. Nah, man. I can't take cucumber shots anymore, but that's beside the point. Nah. <laughs> Reminds me of Jake. What? <laughs> what? No. No, yeah. I think that's my worst shot experience for sure. Mm-hmm. I've never had a shot that made me instantly just yeah. like. Yeah, because I, rem- I remember you like just spitting it out, but then I remember who- someone like actually went to the to the trash can and puked. <laughs> and then I punched the wall. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was it was disgusting, honestly. Like, at- and I know it wasn't just because we had already been drinking the whole night. Yeah. That was just a terrible yeah, shot. Like, I, the thing is, like, I've had uh, the Four Horsemen, which is like yeah. everyone's like, yeah, that's disgusting. Like, it's just four different types of whiskeys mixed together. Yeah, it's it's a like a sucker punch of a shot, but but I'm like, I could be worse. Yeah, could be a like, cement shot. Can yeah. be a cement shot. <laughs> Have you had the cement shot? Oh, oh my god! This one touches your. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Because even like we had Malor, 
And I'd rather have Malore than that shot. Yes, I would much <laughs> rather have Malore than that and shot. Have you ever had Malore? No. You shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't. You, no, should. you should. You should. It's an it's experience. Just, it's just for a comparison. But, you should. <laughs> but it all depends, too. Like, oh, uh, yeah. If you're going to take Malore, though, I highly recommend not drinking prior to it. Just yeah. let it be your starter. Because if you drink uh, yeah. and you take Malore, it, this is how I explain it. It's like taking a shot of honey and then gasoline together. Oh, like it's sweet Ooh. when it touches your tongue, and it's like no, no, no. Mm. Yeah, I'm it's an, take- it's a it's a very interesting shot. I very much enjoyed the experience, but I do not want to relive it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again uh, with Jose like, because he said he was gonna make me. A <laughs> oh, <I'm> gonna <laughs> so I'm like, I'm happy. You? I think yeah. I gotta bleep that now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> <no> problem. <laughs> Ew. 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 <laughs> gonna stop saying it. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. <laughs> Uh, so I guess real quick, Carlos, before, you know, we kind of we'll close it up. it up, wrap it up here, slick it up. Anything you want to say to everybody, you know, kind of put, put a plug up for yourself, man. Anything you want to well, tell everybody about for anything right now, you can, um, catch me. Well, you can catch saber tooth S A V O R tooth Ooh. on Facebook and on Instagram. You will find it easily by the picture of my logo. Put it many in many colorful, um, especially like at the end, it's gonna end at 915, so it's Saber Tooth 915, just because it's a, it's a lot easier to brand something with a number at the end, yeah. So, hopefully, one day I'll be big enough where I don't need to add that at the end. Hey, man, it's it's part of it, you know. <laughs> yeah, when it's, you're, it's when you're starting, it's out, a starter, you, you, it's, <laughs> it's, it's very deep. good to use it's deep in your toes. the number, the area code to yeah. show where you are. It's a good thing, yeah. It's and so, thing. look at Remy Stir. And just so let everybody know, like, I do nine. make custom orders. Like, I if you have an idea for fruit, because I've done like I've done multiple things, like, I've done different styles taste of jerky i've done a barbecue i've done smoked jerky i've done cucumber apples bananas strawberries like i will how about dragon fruit i can probably do dragon fruit Sweet. like your cost will probably <laughs> shoot up quite a bit I'm like damn it yeah that's the <laughs> thing you have like, to pay for that, that, pay that for and that's the thing like i i associate with the cost of whatever i make for you yeah depending on what you get Hey man. So I'm like, it's that's business one on one. It is. So I'm like, if you want a specific type of fruit, and you're like, hey, you know what? I've never, I guess, like a peach. Like I never had a peach chewy or a peach high dehydrated. I never seen it. I'm like, I can definitely do it for you. It's gonna be a pain in the ass, but yeah, yeah, yeah. like I'm totally down. And if it and if it's not much of a pain in the ass as I thought because of that fucking seed in the middle. <laughs> Like I'll tell like you know what I'll definitely put it in the line because I've definitely done like the my uh, the lemon pepper mm-hmm. like the only reason I ever made the lemon pepper was just because someone's like hey dude can you make like the lemon peppered wings but in a jerky form I'm like fuck yeah I've done pork jerky I've done chicken jerky I've done deer jerky I've done oh, in that case jerky. I'd like for you to make a double dip wing but in jerky form. <laughs> Ooh, is it the buffalo honey hot from uh from track one? I knew you Because like the best way I can think of that, fuck, it's the only thing is with the honey. Cause that shit doesn't really dry <laughs> dry very well. So I'll have to think of like I would probably have to marinate it in a very specific uh, mix in yeah, order yeah. to get it correct. Like at least with like the, the hot part, that's easy. I'm like, I can do a powder. I can do like Louisiana hot sauce. I can do like something like that. Super simple, but it's the honey flavor. I'm like, I can like the best probably because the teriyaki, I, that's probably the closest one to it just because of the brown sugar in it. So I can probably do a double dip jerky. I'll probably I'm, just. I'm I, just saying, man. I, that'd be dope because I guarantee you, if you did that, I'd probably be your number one customer for that flavor. <laughs> you know, what? give me about, give me a week. Oh, oh shit. shit! Give one me a week challenge. Give, challenge. Me, give me a week. <laughs> we'll and give I'll, you two just because this episode's coming in two weeks. All right, all right, two weeks. 
I'll go like I'll probably go on Monday. I'll go to track one just to double like just to taste their um, double dip just to, to taste just to taste. <laughs> but I'm also gonna eat it because I want it. <laughs> and then she's like, you know what? I I think I got it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna follow up on that one. I'm gonna follow up on that one. We're gonna see about that one because. <laughs> That sounds amazing. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> but uh um yeah, is there anything else you want to say, man, real quick? Nah, just if you ever if anybody wants to place an order for any of my jerky or snacks or uh make or an inquiry, ass. yeah, <laughs> for my ass, you know, I sell it. BDSM. What up? Oh yeah. <laughs> I am a kink master. I am your <laughs> sir and your master, depending on who you are. I can be your daddy, too. <laughs> Again, that's like a turn. <laughs> but yeah, um, any inquiries you want to get in contact with me, you can t- um, You can also email me at savertooth915 at gmail.com. That's the best way to contact me for any personal things, as well as my Instagram or Facebook. Cool, man. All right. Well, uh, with that, we want to go ahead and thank Carlos here for being with us today from Sabretooth. We appreciate you stopping by, man, bringing us these delicious treats. Um, if you guys haven't checked this stuff out, be sure you guys look him up. We'll put his links and everything Super below in our information with the video. Um, as always, we would like to thank our sponsors. I'll go ahead and Alex take care of that. Thank you all, Cheeked Up, for always providing with this delicious, delicious, crispy beer. <laughs> Old Cheeked Up, located at 3900 Rosa Avenue, El Paso, Texas, 799. Oh, zero five. Sorry, I don't. I got stuck for a second. Sorry. Dyslexia. Uh, and uh, you know what? It's located on Lincoln Park, guys. Don't crawl on that skin. <laughs> also, we want to go ahead and take. But thank you to Fernando yeah, and Mia Fernando from Bitola. Uh, Bitola is located at two one six West Franklin El Paso, Texas seven nine nine zero one. Uh, you know what? You got a smoke. You want a cigar? You want a delicious, beautiful cigar with a good whiskey you now on top. I ain't not on top, but on the side, of course. Uh, go hit them up. Like as we said, 360 cigars. So there's no such thing as like, I don't know what I like. I don't know if you guys yeah. don't have it. Because you know what? They fucking have it. <laughs> and that's pretty much and it. Yeah. Man. So as always, guys, thank you very much. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Uh, also, as always, uh, just a reminder, we now have a website, sixfeetunderstudios.com. You'll be able to find links to all of our streaming um excuse me, all our streaming platforms where you can find us, Apple Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and our Instagram. You can find it all on there. We'll also, we have features every single week with every new podcast that we have coming out with uh, whoever we do it with. We call it a local spotlight. So be sure to check that out and make sure you support local. We always want to support local and help each other out, and especially right now in these trying times. Also, uh, we'll also upload any music and photography and any of the things that we got going on. We'll also upload on there. So be sure you guys check that out. And just as always, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Please follow us. And thank you for supporting us. And we'll see you guys next time. Stay hard out there. Thank you. <laughs>